Following the ceremonial traditions of the Tso College to water the tree of hope, I now invite the commencement speaker accompanied by the principal, vice principals, and the dean to water the tree of hope. The tree of hope symbolizes growth, resilience, and the promise of a bright future. It stands as a metaphor for the graduates who, like the tree, will prosper and flourish, continuing to strive for excellence wherever they go and creating a positive impact in the world. Thank you so much for taking part in watering the tree of hope. On this auspicious occasion, I, on behalf of the Detso College, I am pleased to extend a warm welcome to all to this PG graduation ceremony 2024. I'm Dr. Puchung Tai, Assistant Professor, English Department, and will be the host for this ceremony. We are honored to have a distinguished guest with us today. I extend my warm welcome to our commencement speaker, Sri Kolo Lorin, Chairman, Nagaland Industrial Development Corporations Limited, and also the De Director, Detso College. Our principal, Dr. Havasa King, Vice Principal, Dr. Rossi Deb, Vice Principal, Amaranjan Day, Deans, esteemed faculty members, and our proud graduates here, and their families. Today we gathered here to celebrate the hard work, dedications, and achievement of our graduates, the class of 2024, who embarked on the academic journey for the past two years here at Tetsu College. This evening we will honor the accomplishment of MA participants from the Department of English and also from the Department of Political Science. May I now request everyone to kindly stand and join together in singing the college anthem, Strive for Excellence.
be seated. To commence our ceremony, I would now like to invite Dr. Richam Denpo Maitaina, HOD Department of Linguistics, to offer the opening prayers of blessings. May we all bow our heads. <clears throat> our loving Heavenly Father, as we gather for this MA convocation, we only want to say thank you. We thank you for the blessings of knowledge, growth, and perseverance that, has, that have brought us here to this moment. We thank you, Lord, as we celebrate this event, we pray that your, uh, your presence, your guidance will be throughout the program. We pray that this event will be filled with joy and gratitude, O oh Lord. Bless each graduate, their parents, their teachers, and everyone in uh, involved in the making of this occasion. We thank you, Lord, for all their lives. We continue to uh, we pray that you will continue to bless each of our graduates to have a bright future, and may your continual guidance be upon them. We commit this even in your loving hands, our trust in your loving grace. In Jesus' gracious name we pray. Amen. Thank you for the prayer, sir. I now welcome on the podium Dr. Havesa L. King, our esteemed principal to deliver the principal's address. Good afternoon, everyone. A respected chairperson, our Honorable Commencement Speaker, Sri Kulo Lorin, Chairman of Nagaland Industrial Development Corporation Limited and the Director of Tetsuo College, our faculty, staff, parents, guardians, well-wishers, and of course, the graduating class of 2024. I warmly welcome you to this graduation ceremony and I thank God for this day for bringing us here at this moment to celebrate and to congratulate our MA English and Political Science students for graduating, for their hard work, and for achieving this milestone in their lives. Today is the 7th of September, and I hope it will be a day for all of you to remember as you walk down the halls of Tetsuo College and sit here in Lorraine Hall to hear what might be your final lecture until you walk out of the hall today. Graduates, the MA program at Tetsuo College has been defined with a purpose so that each and every one of you receives the skills, receives the knowledge, receives and experiences everything about life, about building your character, and about achieving your goals to move on to the next milestone. You will now be starting a new journey in life. And from here on, your teachers, your parents will serve as your mentors as you will be entrusted with taking the final decision on the choices of your future. So think carefully, be patient, be kind to yourself, and use wisdom in every decision and every step that you take from here on. Tetsuo College has had alumni 
over the years, 30 plus years now, alumni in different places. Some of them pursuing their higher education, some of them have joined the workforce, some of them in Nagaland, beyond Nagaland, across India, and even across the world. And now we cannot wait to see what the class of 2024 will be able to achieve. I believe that each one of you, when you joined Tetsuo College, you joined with a purpose, with an intention to achieve your goals and your ambitions. And now as you take this final step beyond Tetsuo College, we'd like you to know that all of us over here at Tetsuo College will be cheering you on. We will be wishing you well and praying for you and hoping that you will all be happy with the decisions that you take in your life. Please continue to remember Tetsuo College, pray for the Tetsuo College community, and we would love to see you come back here and even address the students, be a part of the teaching faculty, be a part of this educational institution, and if not at Tetsuo College, at different places, organizations and institutions around the world creating a positive impact. Because that is what our vision and mission is. So please remember as you graduate today and hold on to the vision and mission of Tetsuo College, which is to empower yourselves towards lifelong excellence, to keep on learning and to keep on growing further. Your degree, does not stop here. Learning does not stop here. Whatever field you may choose to join, we hope that you will continue to keep on feeling empowered and with confidence go out and empower others around you. May you all create a positive impact wherever you go and remember the motto of Tetsuo College, which is to strive for excellence. On that note, I would like to conclude wishing you all the very best and may you have a very blessed and a memorable graduation day. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am, for your inspiring words. This evening, we have the honor of hearing from a valedictorian who has distinguished herself with outstanding academic performance consistently each semester. Beyond her academic achievements, she has actively participated in various college activities. She has also hosted many important events of the college. She also gave a book review on the book Seeds and Food Sovereignty, the Eastern Himalayan experiences, compilations of report, reports, write-ups by several scholars and researchers, including Professor Tolly Kikon. Putosinla has also contributed an article titled Body Shaming, Eating Disorder and Social Acceptance of Body Shaming in Nagaland to Dot Dot Column, published by Tetsuo College in collaboration with the Morong Express Nagaland. This remarkable contribution highlights Putusinla's passion for academic browser, making her an exemplary and an inspiration to all. It is my great pleasure to introduce Ms. Putusinla Jamir, the valedictorian of the PG Convocation Ceremony 2024. She is the overall <laughs> Nagaland University second rank holder from the Department of Political Science with a CGPA of 7.94 under Nagaland University. And also the overall class topper under PG program of Tetsuo College. I now invite Ms. Potosin Lachamir to the stage and accept a small token of our appreciations on behalf of the college. After which I also request her to kindly take over to deliver the valedictorian address. Mm -hmm. I request our principal to do the honor, kindly do the honor.
Thank you so much, Sir Puchong, for the wonderful and very flattering introdu introduction. Um, good afternoon, everyone. Respected Chairman, respected Principal Dr. Hewasa Elking, our esteemed speaker and director, Sir Kuvula Lorin, honorable professors, fellow graduates, friends, and families gathered here today. First and foremost, I want to thank our almighty God for granting us the strength and the resilience and guidance throughout this journey and also for our success. I also wish to extend my gratitude to the organizing team behind today's event and making it possible for us to come together and to celebrate this significant milestone. <clears throat> It is an honor to stand before you today as we celebrate the culmination of our journey towards our master's degree. I feel both humbled and exhilarated to be standing here today as your valedictorian for the postgraduate class of 2024. Our short time here has been truly transformative. We entered the postgraduate program with different perspectives, ambitions and motivations, each seeking to understand what we previously knew. But as we leave, we do so with a shared foundation of knowledge. We are far more prepared, better informed, and have a deeper appreciation for the complexities of the world around us. I remember when I first stepped foot into Tetsu College. I had no idea what it had in store for me. I decided to pursue my master's degree because I felt like there was so much more that I could learn. Here I met my wonderful peers who also joined the program with the same amount of curiosity and zeal as me. And it is within these walls we bonded over shared interests, food, laughter, procrastination, and definitely a dread for assignment deadlines. As political science major, our classrooms felt like meeting halls where we debated on topics ranging from Naga political issues, gender inclusivity, religion, justice and inequality, different theories, traditions, and so much more. Our discussions were sometimes very heated, often challenging, but always enlightening. Most importantly, we have learned the importance of dialogue and action. Our ability to listen to differing perspectives and engage in meaningful conversations is more crucial now than ever before. We have come to understand that political systems are not static. They are shaped by the actions of the people, by ideas, and by movements. This understanding is at the core of our discipline, and it is why what we do matters so much. And of course, we had the opportunity to learn from extraordinary professors who were willing to go the extra mile for us and treated us as their friend, student, and as future scholars. Thank you for challenging us to think critically, to analyze deeply, to go beyond our comfort zone, and also to question every single thing. You pushed us when, you when we taught we could not go any further, and reminded us of our potential when we doubted ourselves. To them, we, we owe our gratitude not only for their vision, but also for their belief in us. <clears throat> and to my fellow graduates, this is not the end, but rather the beginning of the next chapter. As we go out into this world, whether it be in public service, academia, activism, or any other path, we carry with us the lessons we have learned here in this college, and it is up to us to, to use this knowledge and experience to make a difference and contribute to the world. Last but definitely not least, thank you to everyone who supported us in this journey, to our friends and family for your love and prayers, our professors and mentors for your wisdom and compassion, and to my fellow graduates for your friendship and intellect. It has been an honor to learn with you and from you. Congratulations, postgraduate class 2024. May we continue to strive for excellence. Thank you.
Thank you, Buddha Sunna Jamir, for your inspiring words and for sharing us your journey with us here at Tetsu College. We are confident that you will continue to strive for excellence and achieve great things in future. As we continue our celebration of the achievement of our graduates, it is both privilege and an honor for me to introduce our esteemed commencement speaker for this evening. We have Sri Kolo Lorin, Chairman, Nagaland Industrial Development Corporations Limited to the Government of Nagaland and Director, Tetsu College, to introduce a brief about Lorin. He is a multifaceted professional. Currently, he is also serving as the Secretary General of the Private College Association of Nagaland. He is actively involved in civil service training, educating the young minds. And he is part of various organizations dedicated to fostering economic growth and social development. As a gesture of our appreciation, sir, the Detsal College would be honored to present Sri Kolo Lauren with a small token of love. So we kindly request you to accept this token of our gratitude. Thank you so much. So you may also take to deliver the message. Respected Chairperson, Dr. Puchong Tai, Assistant Professor of English. Respected Principal, Dr. Hemasa L. King. My dear parents who are present here, faculty, and of course, my students and graduates of the batch of 2024. It is a tremendous honor for me to be standing here in this, I would say, close-knit group, a family, in fact, and to be standing, of course, in front of your parents. I think the batch of 2024 is probably one of the best batches because I've never seen such young parents. No one seems to have gray hair or anything like that, which means all of you are probably ve have been very good all your life and been wonderful, wonderful children. And now you're graduating and probably making them so proud. And I hope that each of you is also now very proud to be graduating and to be essentially completing your college life. I have a, a small presentation. Is it there? If it can be put up. I emailed it uh, a while ago. But anyway, what I wanted to say was, um, one, I think, when you take up studies, when you take up uh, learning, then you're probably trying to reach some goal. So I'd just like to ask, say, our, I'd like to ask all of you, basically, when you first uh, went to school, so valedictorian, what did you want to be when you were in school? So our valedictorian wanted to be a doctor when she was in school. And I'm sure that is the case with every one of us. All of us, when we're growing up, we have so many goals, so many ambitions, but what is our valedictorian pursuing today? She, I mean, when you say doctor, you mean the medical side, right? I'm assuming. But in the end, she went towards arts, and she is still doing very well. But I'm sure that all of you, maybe one at one point of time, you wanted to be a model. Maybe you wanted to be an architect, you want to be an engineer, you wanted to be an artist, something or the others when we're at school and then real life hits us. Different things come and different um, challenges and different things 
uh, come about. So just going to the next slide, please. If you can just click next on the PPT. So basically it's a, a quote that I wanted to share. If you can, yeah. So this line is from, I mean, it's attributed to Mark Twain, but I, what I found out when I did my research was it's not really him. <laughs> he is a fantastic author, but the actual person uh, was Grant Allen who says, I have never let my schooling interfere with my education. I want you to know as postgraduate students, you have reached the top level right now. Yes, there is PhDs, you can do a double master, you can do other, other things, but technically speaking, you don't need any more degrees. This is it. You started from school wanting to be a doctor and now you finish your graduation with an MA Paul Science and that's enough. <laughs> now, you need to use this education to do something. If you do want to become a professor, yes. You want to do research, then go for your PhD. Go ahead. But right now you have already proven to the world now that you have enough knowledge, intelligence, to complete this education system, this man-made education system that is now finished. Masters is the highest level. And yes, if you want to specialize in other areas, now you can pursue your dreams, is what I'm saying. Can we go to the next slide? Just to add to that. The biggest thing is that I am not worried about your success. I'm worried you won't fail. Because it's only when we fail that we actually learn. What usually happens is that sometimes we have such wonderful supportive parents who are with us all the way that we take it for granted and we keep on going so far in life that finally when we face something that we cannot do, when we face an uncomfortable truth, we're not able to deal with it. Or you become so used to success that you become too scared to actually follow your dreams, to actually do what you could be doing. Because only when you fail and you start learning to deal with failure, because everybody fails. Failure, from my own side, I've failed many times, and I have many stories on that. But if I start talking about my failures, this is gonna be a long speech. <laughs> so I'd rather talk about the few times, you know, when <laughs> maybe I was able to learn a few things. But I believe that for each of you also, you're beginning your journey now. And I want you to know for the postgraduates, you need to understand you're in an elite group in some sense. Because not very many people complete and get their master's degree. And sometimes those, it doesn't mean that those who didn't pursue a master's are a failure. Sometimes a graduate degree is actually all you need also to succeed. You just need that graduation degree, and that's enough. You actually don't need a master's. But you guys have gone that step ahead. In some cases, in some rare cases, people have managed to succeed in life even without these degrees. Now, if we can go to the next slide once. Yeah, so leading to, connected to failure, I want to just repeat something that was stated at a commencement speech by Conan O'Brien one of the best, I guess, stand-up comedians and late-night talk shows. But what he said is, it is our failure to become our perceived ideal that ultimately defines us and makes us unique. It's not easy, but if you accept your misfortune and handle it right, your perceived failure can become a catalyst for profound invention. Now, basically reinforcing what, what was I was just stating over there. I want to 
I don't know if you've heard the commencement speech um, of one tennis legend recently. Uh, what was his name? Was it? Uh, I'm not really a tennis fan anymore. I think it was either. I think it was Roger Federer. Yeah, and basically what he says is, you know, he is one of the top tennis players in the world, one of the greatest, and basically he's a top tennis star, but he misses 50% of his shots, which means even the best tennis players in the world make mistakes 50% of the time. But in the shots that he does make, he gets 80% of the points. And that, according to him, is the reason why he was number one in the world. So for each of you, success, failure, it's a part of life. It's gonna come hand in hand. And so I encourage you, and I encourage our Naga parents also, not to be scared of the stigma of failing sometimes. I think we as a society are sometimes too scared about what people think and too scared about um, what happens you know, when we're not able to live up to those expectations at times. But in life, I think we're gonna go through different ups and downs, and I hope that all of you have that luxury to fail, which doesn't mean that you keep on failing all the time, but it means you fail once, learn, and then become better for it, okay? Can we go to the next slide? So, to add to that, I, I wanna quote Frederick Nietzsche, Adej, uh, what doesn't kill you only makes you stronger. So talking, I mean, it might be funny that I'm talking about failure on a day of success, <laughs> but then, especially as a college, when we're always striving for excellence, but I want you to understand that excellence is about managing those things. So if we go to the next slide, you know, so what doesn't kill you only makes you stronger. Can we go to the next slide, please? What he doesn't say that, is that it almost will kill you. <laughs> you so it's basically, uh, he's basically saying that, you know, these struggles, you struggle so hard that sometimes you, you fall down and you have your lows in life, and yes, it almost kills you. <laughs> and that's how it feels sometimes, but it doesn't kill you. You can still do it if you keep on moving on, and for each of you, I hope you are there to support one another. Your closest friends actually are going to change. I'm not sure how many of you are close friends with your preschool friends now, or your school friends now, but you're a different person now. And as you go further now, you're going to make new friends again in the workplace, in office, in church. After you become a parent, you're gonna make friends with other parents, with kids, with others, I mean, other parents with children, and that's, your life is gonna keep on going like that. Okay, can we go to the next slide? So, keeping that in mind, okay, we cannot predict what the future holds, but we hope that you will remember our mission. Our mission to empower people towards lifelong excellence starts with you. If you cannot keep on learning, if you cannot think of becoming better every day, and I'm saying why you have to become better every day is because your role will change. One, you were a, you were a daughter, you were a son. Soon, you may become a father, a mother. And afterwards, you might become a grandfather, a grandmother, and each time your role would change. That's in your family side. Professionally, you may be a fresher, then you become a senior, then you become a, a supervisor, then you end up maybe doing, making policy decisions, and that's how you're gonna grow. And you also end up taking care of your parents as they have taken care of you. And if we go to the next slide, I just want to remind you the whole purpose here is 
for all this is to create a positive impact in the world. Not, I'm not saying you all have to go and get a Nobel Prize and change the entire world. We're talking about your world, the place that you come from, your towns, your villages, your cities, your family. That's what we talk, we're talking about when we're saying to empower yourselves towards lifelong excellence to create a positive impact in the world. Let's go to the next slide. You, we believe that if you maintain the values of the institution, to put students first, to value time, to adhere to ethical and moral principles, to achieve excellence, and to be professional, you will be able to live up to the college mission and vision. You can go to the next slide. Just putting it up here for everyone. With that, that's, with that, that is basically my message today. I believe that uh, we will reconnect again very soon, probably. Every time I travel, I bump into a Tetsu College alumni. We have three in Dimapur Airport right now who are working there. One in Indigo, one in Indian Airlines, and another in the accounts office somewhere over there in Dimapur Airport is what I was told when I met. Another time, in, on the way to Hyderabad, the person sitting just a few seats from me was coming from his workplace um, in some other city, and he came and introduced himself. Today, I had, I had another person who came to open one of our college bank accounts coming from Access Bank, and he had joined Access Bank last year, and now he's taking care of our college files. It makes us so proud, so happy to see you succeed. Everyone in this room wants you to succeed, including your loving parents who are here with you today. But we also understand that in case you fail, we are still behind you, and you will learn from that. And at the same time, you will make sure that you will always continue, though, to give your best and to strive for excellence. We wish you the very best. Good luck, class of 2024. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, sir, for your enlightening and motivating words. Your visions and leadership continue to inspire us all, and we are deeply grateful for your presence here today. We have now come to the most anticipated and joyous moment, that is the awarding of degrees. As we continue to celebrate the achievement of our graduates, it is a privilege to acknowledge the culmination of their hard work and dedication. Each degree awarded this evening represents not only their academic accomplishment, but also personal growth and the promise of future contributions to our society. To keep the proceeding smooth and efficient, we will start by calling out the names of our graduates in the following order. First, the Department of English, and will be followed by the Department of Political Science. To present the decrees, I would like to invite our commencement speaker, Sir Kulu Loren, on stage to kindly do the honor. First, Department of English. The following students have been assessed by Nakalin University and Tetsau College and are hereby awarded the following awarded the MA degrees in English. Komnila Sangtam. Cindy in Lawelling. Alila Longkamer. M. Selina. And Ngontok 
banyak-banyak This will be followed by the Department of Political Science Thank you so much sir Thank you so much sir I now invite on stage our principal, Dr. Havesa L. King, to kindly do the honor for the Department of Political Science. The following students have been assessed by Nagaland University and Detsau College and are hereby awarded the MA degree in Political Science. We will start with our valedictorian, Potosin Lajamir. Wesuho Tenyo. Isato. Jarina. Andrew Chowang. Thank you so much, ma'am. This is for all the graduates from the book of Bible, Psalms 20, verses 4. May he give you the desire of your heart and make all your plans succeed. Please join me in congratulating the graduates with a warm round of applause. Okay, with this, we have reached the end of our convocation ceremony. It has been a day filled with celebration and honor, and we are deeply grateful for your presence and participation in making this event a resounding success. I, on behalf of the college, would like to extend a heartfelt thanks to everyone who has contributed for the success of this event. As we close the ceremony, we extend our invitations to all the guests, families, friends, graduates, the staff to join for dinner after uh, we go from this at the reception.